just two weeks after its release. Here we are investigating where the Earth disaster documentary is already driving forward, where confirmation of Earth shifts keeps coming seemingly faster than a video maker can keep up. Hopefully, we recall this, the chart tracking the changes on Earth, the planets, the Sun, and nearby stars. What we're looking at specifically here is line number two, the ionosphere. There has been a sustained ionospheric perturbation despite the fact that the Sun has steadily been decreasing in activity decade over decade for half a century. With this, we would expect lower ionospheric effects, but with Earth's weakening magnetic field, it is allowing the weaker and weaker space weather to have stronger and stronger effects. The paper in play was unquestionably one of the geophysics papers of 2021, solidifying something that honestly must be true under Earth's weakening magnetic field. So, with that in mind, remember that the weakened field over the South Atlantic anomaly means we should probably be able to guess at some of the other effects they're going to notice. For example, the studies of high detail in the equatorial region should reveal the exact same ionospheric perturbation. We have pegged the continued record low ozone levels at the poles on the weaker field and solar proton destruction, and so there should be a tropical ozone hole as well. And all the record lightning we've seen should be continuing in the mid and low latitudes, not just at the Arctic. An outstanding confirmation of number one here. The equatorial ionosphere trends match, and this paper actually focused on the weaker magnetic field with a foreboding eye to the future. Nothing unfamiliar to an observer, however. But it's hard to imagine this has been missed unless it was intentional. But how we're just now learning about the tropical ozone, number two, is a bit baffling. This has been one of my greatest questions. Where's the lower ozone at low latitudes? Oh, there it is was there the whole time. Nobody felt like noticing or reporting it. This author was slightly less on point than the first group, as in causation he bangs his head against the wall the whole time trying to discuss pollution causation. And of course, only days into the new year, we already know we outpaced the 2020 marks in the U.S. for lightning. Number three, it's been records all the while. Smashing continues. And folks, before we knew about the nearby stars, the dust, the other planets, and the Earth's sustained ionospheric perturbation, we knew these things would be seen on the road to the next disaster, as Earth's magnetic field is entering excursion. A dansgaard Oeschger, Bond event, Heinrich event, and geomagnetic excursion all in one as the long cycle resets. The cycle is over, and these are your continuing signs. New here? Watch that documentary. The link is below. No matter when you're watching, I'll see you in the morning for the daily update as we continue awareness to be among the humans that survived this event, as they do every single time and will again. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.